Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Kazuko Shiyama of Chiyo University. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for organizers for uh, my invitation. And I'm very happy to be here. And uh, uh, today, I would like to talk about the modeling and simulation of tsunami using virtual reality technology. And uh, this is a joint research work with uh, my former and current uh, graduate student and also the, uh, Dr. Matsumoto and the Do Dr. Sakuraba and uh, uh, the group of the uh, Tohoku University. Uh, uh, the, the title of this talk, uh, the, the, the topics I would like to talk uh, today is as follows. Okay. And uh, as you know, the, uh, three years ago, the uh, largest uh, tsunami in Japan's history uh, attacked to Japan island. And uh, uh, the tsunami washed away uh, everything. Uh, this uh, picture shows an uh, aerial photograph uh, after uh, arriving, uh, before arriving uh, the tsunami. And uh, this is a, a picture uh, after arriving tsunami waves. And uh, in here you can see the uh, deepest uh, breakwater is a pointer. Pointer? Do, do, do you have a pointer? Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, and uh, this is the uh, deepest uh, breakwater in the world. And uh, uh, this breakwater uh, has been broken uh, by the, this tsunami. And uh, this type of damage occurred at every uh, port and harbors. And the Japan government uh, made a new guideline for tsunami disaster management measures. And uh, the, the tsunami levels uh, are classified into two levels. The uh, tsunami disaster management level, which is referred as level one, tsunami level one, and uh, the tsunami disaster reduction level, uh, which is referred to level two. And uh, uh, tsunami level one, uh, the uh, tsunami scale of this level would be as large as one, or which will occur once in several decades to several centuries. And the design of coastal protection uh, facilities should be based on this level. And for the, uh, the tsunami level two uh, is an extreme, extreme tsunami event and may have much higher tsunami wave and stronger tsunami power and it would exceed the tsunami protection facilities of structural, structural measures. And all possible uh, measures should be applied to save human lives from this extreme event. And uh, for this uh, level, uh, to, uh, tsunami waves, so the evacuation and city planning are very important. And this is a new guideline for city planning. And uh, uh, the coastal uh, structures, uh, such as breakwater, is designed uh, based on the level one. And the uh, uh, residence area uh, should be made uh, on the uh, area uh, where the elevation uh, of this area is higher than the level uh, two. And uh, I will show the uh, example, the tsunami uh, disaster re uh, reconstruction. Uh, this is a case of the Rikuzen Takaza city. So we uh, developed the uh, large suspension bridges uh, to carry the earth and the sand like this. And uh, this is a uh, very uh, large scale uh, 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 transportation system using belt conveyors. However, we need another uh, three years to uh, finish uh, this uh, construction work. And the purpose of this study is uh, at least uh, the development of uh, useful planning and design and educational tools for the disaster prevention for tsunami. So my talk uh, uh, can be divided into three parts, VR technology, and second part, so this is the main part, modeling and simulation of tsunami. And uh, the part three, so I will talk about the visualization and uh, oralization uh, using uh, VR and AR technology. And so I will talk about uh, VR technology. So the first of all, I want to talk about the uh, history of stereographic uh, or uh, scopic image generation. At the uh, beginning of the 17th century, the stereograph by hand has been appeared. And uh, uh, 
38, the stereoscopic uh, based on a combination of prism and mirrors has been developed. So people enjoy the uh, 3D image very much. And uh, after that, the anagraph method has been uh, developed. We still use uh, this method for the uh, stereoscopic image for print. And uh, the, the, the patent for the polarized 3D display has been taken uh, in 1833, and after about 100 years later, uh, the display using the, this idea has been uh, developed. And in uh, 1912, uh, the uh, patent for range killer lens uh, seat has been taken, and uh, also the, in 1990s, so we, uh, the, the, this type of uh, uh, display has been uh, developed. So we, we can enjoy the uh, uh, stereoscopic image uh, by the naked eye. And uh, this is a history after the uh, Second World War. And uh, in 1968, so the head mount display uh, has been developed. And in 1993, the CAVE automatic virtual environment, which is uh, referred as CAVE, uh, has been uh, developed. And uh, 2010, so this is, uh, this is a year uh, which is called as a, a first year of 3D. And uh, uh, so many uh, 3D products such as uh, 3D television, and 3D, 3D uh, PC, and 3D camera, and, and so on. Okay, so, and if you uh, think about the large scale visualization system, there are two ways, head mount display and cave uh, system. So each method has uh, merit and demerits. And uh, so we chose the uh, cave system because it is easy to share the common VR space with multiple people. So I will show you the uh, several uh, applications uh, using cave system later. Okay, so next I will talk about the modeling and the simulation of tsunami. And this uh, slide shows the uh, governing equation for tsunami for 2D cases and 3D cases. The so objective is entirely different. Uh, in case of 2D simulation, so we can compute the height of tsunami waves and also the tsunami propagation uh, from a wide area from the source of tsunami to the land area. And if you want to know the uh, 3D flow phenomena and also the fluid force acting uh, to the structures, uh, we need a 3D uh, simulation. But so there's a big uh, differences in, in the cost. Okay, uh, in here uh, you can see the governing equation for the Gupushinesk equation, equation of uh, continuity and the equation of moment, equation of motion. And uh, so the if uh, the, this is a nonlinear term and this is a uh, dispersion term. And if you erase the uh, dispersion term, so the, this equation system is to be a nonlinear shallow water equation systems. And uh, so the uh, this is the, uh, there are two uh, characteristics in the uh, wave characteristics uh, in the tsunami waves, the nonlinear effect and the dispersion effect. And if you use, uh, 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 if you employ the Bushnesk equation, you can uh, treat both effect, uh, nonlinear effect and the disper uh, dispersion effect. And this is a, uh, a good example. Uh, uh, to show the uh, differences of the characteristics. And uh, so we compare the uh, numerical solutions uh, uh, by uh, using uh, those equations. And this is the uh, uh, computed results. And uh, uh, Brumach uh, denotes the computed results obtained by the nonlinear shallow water equations. And uh, the uh, green line denotes the computational results obtained by the Bushness equation. We compare the, uh, those solutions with uh, 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 experimental data and, uh, at uh, this point, okay? And uh, the dotted line uh, denoted, uh, the circular mark denotes the experimental result. So from this figure, you can see the computed results obtained by the Bushness equation is good agreement with the experimental data. 
And uh, so now I, I will talk about the discretization method briefly. And uh, in here you can see the uh, momentum equations. And uh, we apply the time splitting techniques. Uh, and uh, we then we can obtain the two equation system and the uh, advection phase and non advection phase. And for the uh, advection phase, we employ the uh, SIBA method. SIBA method is uh, one of the uh, cubic method uh, uh, based on the cubic interpolation. And uh, for the uh, non advection phase, uh, we employ the stabilized finite element method based on SCPG uh, formulations. And uh, now I will show you the uh, typical numerical examples. And uh, so the, uh, we focus on the uh, uh, Onaga Bay area. And this is the uh, Onagawa Bay after uh, arriving tsunami waves, and uh, many reinforced concrete buildings are destroyed by the tsunami uh, at Onagawa Bay. And uh, so the, uh, this is a zoomed up uh, picture at Onagawa Bay. And uh, <coughs> Now, so the tsunami uh, attacked to the uh, Onagawa area. So from this figure, you can see the tsunami uh, repeats the wave, repeats the diffraction and refraction uh, like this. And uh, so the, uh, this is a uh, comparison of computation result. Uh, this is our result, and this is the observed one. And from this figure, you can see the computed result, a good agreement with the observed data. And this is a uh, comparison of computed and observed result at several uh, points. So, so from this figure, so the, our result is uh, quite reasonable. And uh, this is a, a comparison uh, of the uh, SIBA SCPG and the conventional SCPG. And uh, so you can see the, uh, uh, this, uh, the discrepancy at the peak, peak value. So uh, from this figure, you can see the, uh, the computed result by the uh, SAPG gives a, uh, a dissipative solution the slightly like this. Okay, so the next I will talk about the 3D simulations. And if you want to know the uh, compute the 3D phenomena and also the fluid force acting to the structure, we need a, a 3D uh, simulations. And in here, you can see the uh, continuity equation and Navier-Stokes equations. And, uh, <coughs> and uh, the, uh, so uh, in order to uh, uh, express the uh, free surface, we employ the uh, color function, both function, and we, we will solve the advection equation for both function like this. And uh, the, I will show you the uh, numerical example, so the comparison of 2D and 3D. And uh, this is a, a mesh for 2D, and uh, this is a mesh for 3D. The total number of nodes and the element are entirely different from 2D and 3D. And uh, in here you can see the computed result. Uh, this is a, a computed result by shallow water equation, and this is a computational result by the Bushnell's equation. And this is a uh, computed result by the Navier-Stokes equations. And uh, the, this is a uh, time history and, uh, of the fluid force acting uh, on the structures the circular mark denotes the experiments. So from this figure, so the uh, computed result uh, obtained by the uh, 3D Navier-Stokes equation is good agreement with the experimental data. So uh, uh, from this uh, comparative studies, so we need a 3D simulation uh, near the uh, Bay Area. So in order to uh, realize the efficient simulation, tsunami simulation, uh, we need a uh, uh, 2D and 3D coupling simulations. And uh, so the <coughs> we, uh, this is an uh, example. So the, in here you can see the joint boundary. And in here, this is a 2D shallow water uh, region. And this is a 3D uh, re, uh, the equation regions. And uh, the, the, at the joint boundary, we apply the continuity and the compatibility conditions. So I don't have time to uh, describe the, our method. Uh, so the, if you are interested in the tomorrow, so the, my uh, colleague, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Matsumoto, will talk about uh, this method. 
And uh, this is the uh, computed result. And uh, in here, the 2D region, and uh, this is uh, the 3D uh, simulation regions. And uh, so from this figure, so the, uh, we can obtain the stable and uh, the reasonable uh, solutions. And, and uh, the, uh, this method, the present method, is applied to the real uh, tsunami simulations. And uh, this is the, uh, the uh, mesh for 2D. So the, we uh, picked up only the, uh, this region and the 2D mesh. And this is 3D mesh. And in here, you can see the overlap domain. And uh, this is the <coughs> uh, complete result at Onagawa Bay. And this is a 2D region, and this is a 3D regions. So every time steps, we uh, solve the equation system simultaneously. And uh, uh, this is how this is the current uh, situations. All of uh, buildings has been uh, destroyed by tsunami waves. So we need a fluid uh, uh, structure interaction and simulations. So. I will talk about the fluid uh, structure interaction uh, simulation using finite cover method. And uh, this is joint research work with uh, uh, Tohoku University, uh, Professor Kenjiro Terada. And the uh, finite cover method is known as a, a generalized version of the finite element approximations, which has been developed for the computational solid dynamics. And uh, FCM uh, can define the physical domain independently mathematical domain like this. And it, it is uh, possible to impose a boundary condition on uh, fluid structure interaction, fluid uh, solid interface accurately using the fixed grid. And uh, this is a, uh, a weak home for the, uh, based on the SPG and PSPG. And uh, this is a penalty, penalty term. So the, in order to, uh, we under the, this term uh, to uh, 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 impose the uh, direct boundary condition uh, on a fluid solid interface like this. And uh, uh, for the movement of structure uh, is computed by the uh, DEM, discrete element method. And uh, uh, this is algorithm of uh, fluid structure interaction. And uh, <coughs> so the, I will show the uh, uh, typical examples so the, and the uh, This is a, a, a backward view, and this is a front side view. OK, so the, uh, we are now thinking about the next uh, tsunami waves. And uh, uh, it is high possibility to move uh, these holds uh, because uh, uh, strength, uh, strength rate is uh, increasing. Uh, and uh, actually, about 150 years ago, and uh, we had a very big tsunami wave uh, by those faults. And this is a uh, target area to our, uh, the uh, Shisekui in Tokushin Prefecture. And uh, this area, so that we, we had uh, very bad uh, damage uh, this uh, tsunami waves. And this uh, shows, uh, uh, slide shows the cause of death uh, in the Great East Japan Aspic. And uh, from here, so you can see that more than 90% of deaths were caused by the drawing. And 65% uh, of the dead were over 60. And uh, so the, the disaster prevention education uh, to promote a refuge action is very important to reduce the number of victims. And uh, so now I, I will talk about the evacuation simulation uh, briefly. And uh, uh, I, this is a uh, studied area and the uh, brown uh, color denotes the wood house and the uh, gray color denotes the concrete house. And uh, here you can see the 2D mesh, and uh, so the, we prepare the finite element mesh in the inside of the building. And uh, in, we compare the two cases, uh, the case A and case B. In case B, we assume the uh, 
high strengths in the uh, buildings we are seeing. And uh, this is the uh, uh, evacuation route. And uh, this mark denotes the uh, refuge places, and the red color denotes is the route of the uh, uh, public information car. And uh, so this is a criterion for the uh, 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 refugees. The refugees state uh, is changed by the uh, effect of the uh, water depth and also the flow velocity. And uh, this is a uh, refuge route. And uh, if you locate it as a <coughs> dry area, so the no influence. Influence. But if you locate it at this region, shallow water region, so the in this simulation, the speed is uh, reduced by half. And uh, if you locate it on the deep, this region, region B, so the uh, uh, you will be a big tips. And uh, so the I will check by uh, the, this criterion by myself. So the in this case, so the the uh, the, the depth of tsunami height is uh, thirty uh, centimeters. So uh, we cannot stand up, keep the my uh, how they said uh, by myself. But uh, so the so you you know the. Uh, understand the power of tsunami waves. If you are uh, good at swimming, so you cannot swim so the, in the tsunami waves. And uh, so I checked uh, this criterion by myself, so the, then I, I, I employed uh, this uh, uh, relation, and, uh, and uh, so that this is a uh, 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 computation result, eva evacuation analysis. The time, uh, uh, the time to start for the information car uh, is assumed to be 33 seconds, 36 minutes. And red car, color denotes the uh, people over 65 years old. And now they uh, start the uh, action of the evacuation. And uh, so the <coughs> and this is a, uh, the result. And, uh, the the number of victims uh, in, uh, is increased in accordance with the delay of the starting time of evacuation. And uh, so from uh, the comparison uh, case A and B, so the high strength building is effective in delaying the initial time for tsunami. Okay, so the finally, so I will show you the uh, view from the uh, refuge in cars. And uh, so uh, you can understand the feeling of the refuge. Uh, okay, so finally, I will talk about the uh, visualization and oralization using VR technology. As I mentioned, so we chose uh, uh, cave systems. So uh, about seven years ago, I in introduced uh, uh, these uh, cave systems. And uh, uh, this is the motion uh, tracking system. Uh, uh, this system captures the motion of the marker uh, fitted to the controller and liquid shutter glass. And uh, uh, we prepared a uh, sound system like this. And uh, so that this is uh, uh, our application of VR technology in the pre and post processing. So we can check the uh, mesh quality and also that we can modify the mesh ide idealization. And also we can understand the 3D phenomena. And uh, so I will show you the uh, uh, example. The, so in here, so the red color denotes a bad quality mesh. So uh, the we can uh, capture the nose, and we can change the position of the uh, uh, nose like this uh, quite easily if you wear the uh, grass. And this is a uh, scene of the. Uh, using the uh, our, uh, the uh, system uh, visualization system okay and uh, so the also we uh, developed the uh, markerless AR system and uh, so the uh, AR is quite uh, effective for the uh, discussion and, and the education and uh, in the outside. Uh, yes. 
And so I will show the uh, visualization. Uh, so I will show the, uh, this uh, uh, example. So we, we can move to any places uh, where you, you, you want to go. And you can understand the 3D phenomena uh, using uh, this visualization system. So now, so the, uh, in order to improve the uh, reality, uh, uh, so I add the, uh, not only the visualization, but also the oralization is very important to improve the reality. So this is uh, our uh, conventional uh, flow chart. And uh, so we add uh, these parts. Uh, computation of uh, sound pressure level and also the oralization parts. And uh, so the uh, comparison of sound, we employ the uh, geometric acoustic theory. Uh, I uh, assume the uh, source of the uh, tsunami uh, at the uh, uh, front of the tsunami waves. And uh, here is the, the observer's position and the R is the distance in the straight line between the observer and the sound source. And we assume the several rays, and then uh, we can compute the uh, sound pressure level at the uh, observers. And uh, so the, uh, and in order to realize a uh, uh, stroboscopic sound system, so that we employ the uh, ambisonics, uh, Techniques. The ambisonics is uh, based on the uh, sphere spherical surface function expansion using computational results and sound source data. And uh, this is an uh, example. And uh, so uh, in here, so the, the, uh, this is an observer's position, and this is an uh, initial condition of tsunami waves. And uh, so tsunami waves uh, pass the observers and uh, uh, 12.9 seconds uh, tsunami uh, we passed at the observer's position. And uh, in here, uh, we set the uh, noise level meter uh, like this. And uh, so this is a uh, comparison of the uh, sound signal of uh, the uh, left speaker and the right speaker. So you can see the uh, differences. The, so from this figure, so the, the uh, stroke scopic sound field is realized. Okay, and uh, this uh, slide shows the comparison of the measures and the computed result. So from this figure, so the uh, computed result has, uh, is good agreement with the measurement. And uh, so the, this is a final example, so the Nagawa, so the, the observer, the position is like, uh, is like this. And uh, so I have a sound. So this is important, okay. Oops. Oh, sorry. Could you turn the... Uh, speaker? No? Table? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, because of time. So if you're interested in, I, I will uh, show you the later. So the, okay. So the, <coughs> uh, the modeling and simulation of the visualization uh, methods for tsunami has been presented. So the, the, I hope the present system is to be uh, useful for planning and designing an educational tool for disaster prevention of tsunami. The application of VR technology is useful to make the overall computation tool set a high quality simulation environment, especially uh, for safety uh, problems. And I want to show uh, the uh, Japanese famous proverb uh, finally. And okay, thank you uh, very much for your attention.